How could this happen? An angel died to protect a demon? And then she revived so casually? Please don't kill me. I was only knocked unconscious. I'll apologize for making you worry, but I won't pay any remunerations or give any other form of compensation. <gasps> Desco thought you were dead. Desco was worried. But why would you guys be worried about me? You were just about to trade me into the Corruptor Mint for the bounty reward. Only Fenric was trying to do that. We didn't really agree with him on that. This woman... Why did she risk her life to save our lord? Is she after our money, or...? Looks like another problem has arisen before the presidential eve election. Anyway, what is going on here? The deceased warden has revived and is now on to take my life? Warden was burned to ashes by Desco's attack. Yes! Mr. Warden should have been completely killed by Desco. <laughs> Did you really think that was enough to kill me? What was that? Were you just trying to imitate Axel? Huh? No, I, I didn't see anything. Wait, was that really me? Axel's ability to survive is on par with a cockroach. I might have underestimated him, thinking Desco was strong enough to kill him. We were once comrades who fought side by side. But if he intends to hinder us, we have no other choice. We must exterminate him. Yes! Roaches must be exterminated! Pray that Desco let slip away must be killed by Why wasn't he with a supporting force? I could see him coming up to us to polish our shoes while we're still expanding in power. It sure is weird that he just attacked us. There must be a reason for that. My lord, I shall go ahead and order the Prinnies to investigate. I'm counting on that. Anyway, which area shall we head over to now, Fenric? Yes, my lord. We will head to the most challenging upper-level area where the boss-level demons live. Episode 6, The A-Virus Pandemic. The Black Blood Demon Area. This is my first time coming here, too. I'm not sure if it's still the same, but this used to be the training grounds for those who were vying for the President's office. Greedy Angel would only add another dead body to the pile here. Oh, is that so? You never know, right? Wait a second. You, Angel! Why in the world are you following us? I'm not following you. We're just headed in the same direction. I don't mind leaving you if you really insist, but not until I get paid. Paid? For saving Mr. Valvatorez's life, of course. You said his bounty is 10 million hell, right? Then I should get at least half of that for risking my life for him. Did you really do that only for the Xenons? It didn't seem like that to me. How amazing! Your obsession with money is definitely at a final boss level. I know it'll take a while to collect five million health, so I'll go ahead and put it on your tab for now. Do not degrade our lord. Don't think that what you did was a favor to him. That's right. That attack wouldn't have done any damage to me. In other words, there are no favors owed between the two of us. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me, just because we have the same destination. Follow us no matter what. Such an annoying angel. Big Sis, there has been no progress in the love between those two. You're right. I only feel more hate instead of love. 
We still aren't sure who that angel really is yet. Well, I know one thing for sure. Her name isn't as beefy sounding as Volcanus. She's gotta be Valsy's first love, Artina. How do you know? Do you have some sort of psychic power? It's called women's intuition. In other words, you have no proof, but you've already concluded that she was his first love. The upper level of the netherworld. An area where only the privileged few black blood demons who possess the title of boss characters reside. The freezing air and jumbled gravestones have long driven off many a visitor. The only beings who are allowed to live here are the netherworld's strongest demons. Human heroes often venture to this level, seeking to kill its prized inhabitants. There you are, pretty instructor! That voice! Brace yourself! I'll finally get rid of you today! thought it was Warden Axel, since their voices sound remarkably similar, but he's just... Although their voices do sound similar, he's still a black blood demon. Must keep our guard up. But his voice is exactly like Axel's. My reflexes might kick in, forcing me to let my guard down. Today's the last day you'll ever get to talk about me like that! I'll pay you back for all the crap I've had to go through because of you guys! His voice is exactly like Axel's. It's almost as if Axel was right there. Wait a second! Did he say all the crap he had to go through because of us? Does that mean he has something against us? This is the first time we've ever met. Oh, this is my first time meeting him, too. I did mention that this was my first time coming here, didn't I? Could this be another one of the Corruptorman's traps? It's showtime! This is the opening act of Axel's Revenge! Sardine power.
Exactly, were they? Those demons that had Warden Axel's voice attacked us all at once. That's not something I'd want to experience ever again. This is a serious nightmare. I mean, I know this is all a dream, but I'm really not enjoying this part. Desko's the one who's not enjoying this. How dare you stand in my way time after time? Desko? What did you just say? Did Desko just say that? Desko doesn't understand herself either. <laughs> I will keep returning over and over again, like a phoenix, until I kill the pretty instructor! That's right. I'll get my revenge on him for everything that he's done to me. What's going on here? Holding an Axel impersonator contest? Well, it's just... Uh, what the hell happened to me? I don't get it. My, my mouth was moving on its own. This is weird. It's definitely not normal. I see. So that's what's going on. My lord, it seems that this was caused by a new kind of virus that has become a pandemic all throughout the netherworld. A virus? So it's like a cold? Big Sis, viruses are the cause of many more diseases than just a cold. So, the virus is making us do these embarrassing impressions of Ward and Axel? That's not the only thing it will cause. The imitations are only the early symptoms of an A-virus infection. Then, is something even more horrible gonna happen to us? That's right. Eventually, you will notice small changes in your body. And finally... F finally? What'll happen next? You'll turn into Axel. What? Into Axel? No! It doesn't matter if this is just a nightmare! Desko refuses to become such a thing! Desko wants to be a final boss! Word! I want to become a great demon! But instead, I'm gonna become Axel? There's gotta be a cure for this, right? Right? Sadly, there is no cure. At least, not at the moment. So miserable. A virus is nothing to be afraid of. Just get rid of it with your spirit and fortitude. You're letting a virus take advantage of you because you all lack those factors. Follow my guidance and start eating sardines every day from now on. You'll soon get the spirit, fortitude, and strong body to fight it. We wouldn't need doctors if fortitude and spirit could cure every disease. Sardines are good. But please, consider what we're facing. Oh, th th that's right! You can't solve this matter just by eating sardines! You seem rather calm. Isn't there a chance that you're infected with it as well, Mr. Werewolf? Staying calm is kind of my thing. Shouldn't you consider your own comment, Thief Angel? It's most likely that everyone here has been infected with the A-Virus. The incubation time it takes for our symptoms to show probably depends on our immune systems and our general immunity against the warden. Then we better find a cure soon or something terrible will happen to the entire netherworld. Everyone will become Warden Axel? Will this Artina lookalike angel turn into him too? Do it! I must focus on usurping the regime! Just 
as Fenric said, women are truly unnecessary for someone who is on the road to becoming a ruler. Let's go, everyone. Crying over this infection won't solve anything. If we've been infected, then we simply have to find a cure before we all completely turn into Axel. We'll find an antidote by the time we bring this area under our control.
show you sardine power. from the front is very courageous of you. Just multiply? As expected of Ward and Axel, his reproductive ability is just like that of a cockroach. No, they're all just former demons. This is the result of the A-virus pandemic. How can you tell just by looking at them? Are you a certified medical practitioner? No, I am nothing like that. Uh, uh, are we gonna turn into the warden? J just like them? No way! No freaking way! Uh, must find a cure somehow! A cure? Don't play dumb, Valvatores! We already know the truth. By killing you, the A-Virus will die along with you. Seriously? We'll all be saved if we kill you? Goodbye, Mr. Bowsy. You must sacrifice your life for Dasko and Big Sis. Oh, it sucks that this is how we gotta say goodbye, Balbatoras. What sucks is your brain. How could you be gullible enough to fall for an obvious corruptment lie? Or could it be that the A-Virus has gone straight to your heads? There's no need to chastise them, Fenric. Although they lack spirit and fortitude, this wasn't something they asked for. My lord! Seeing as how he went directly after my lord, his personal grudge for being entrapped by my various schemes seems to remain within him. I wish I could keep focusing on getting rid of that damn thief angel. But I didn't expect this to happen.
those corrupt and bastards. How dare they blame me for this A virus? I don't mind that they're coming after my life, but I can't abide how they're using others to accomplish their goals. Hey, now, don't talk down on the corrupt men so much. Yeah, the more I listen to you talk, the more irritated I'm getting. Desco is starting to want to slaughter Mr. Velzy for some reason. What's happening to you guys? What's with your insubordinate comments? Are you siding with the Corruptorman? I think it's safe to say that those are also symptoms of the A virus. I see. It may be the Corruptorman who created not only the rumor, but the A virus as well. What? Why would they do such a thing? If every demon becomes Warden Axel, it'll spell the end of the Netherworld! Naturally, the world will be filled with a bunch of Corruptorman stooges. The masses by turning them into Axels. Is that the Corruptorman's plan? It sounds more like the Corruptorman is seeking to collapse the Netherworld from the inside. If that's true, then, there will be a lot more money for me to collect. The big question is, how did the current Corruptorment obtain the kind of technology needed to create such a virus? My lord, there might be something more sinister behind this. Behind it or in front of it, either way, it doesn't matter. I just can't sit and watch the Netherworld fall to the threat of the A-Virus. We must do whatever it takes to stop it. Sure, the Netherworld's in danger, too, but we need to treat ourselves before we turn into something terrible! Don't worry, lass. It's a staple convention that an important clue like the cure to this virus must be revealed by a boss character! Whoa! Desco doesn't understand the logic behind it, but he is very convincing! Then let's go! To defeat the boss character of the upper level of the Netherworld! I hope we're gonna be okay! What's the matter, Rascal? Are you in pain? Has the A-Virus finally reached his brain? Be a man, rascal! Ooh, a growing thing here on my leg! Uh, and chest hair, too? Oh, I have chest hair? It's blonde! But there are only a few of them! The A virus. It seems like it's taking effect slowly but surely. Had chest hair? Way to go. My lord, now's not the time to be impressed by such a pathetic fact. This is an emergency. Well, as expected of Sir Amizo, he's got nice leg and chest hair. Word to your father. Look at that shining patch of chest hair. Even sunlight seems dull in comparison. What the... Now Desco and the lass are acting coquettish? Huh? What was I saying? Desco too? Desco just said something that a final boss should never utter! It's another symptom of the A-Virus. How horrible.
to Desco soon, too? Then I'll never get back to my happy dream! It's all over! This is why we must fight! We must not give in until the very end! Don't forget our true reason for fighting! We cannot let ourselves turn into axles right now! Mr. President, the effect of the A-Virus is tremendous. It's only a matter of time before it takes effect not only in the upper level, but over the entire netherworld. No one in the netherworld will dare oppose your wishes now. This is going to be a total victory. What remarkable results. Even to this day, it seems as though I've underestimated his power. Everything I've done is to save the Netherworld. Oh, the irony. Sir? Total victory. You're right. Unfortunately, 
or not decide who won. No matter what happens in the end, I accept the truth. That is my final duty as the president. that you look any different than the others. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Don't judge me! Of all the Axles who are invading the Netherworld, I am the original Axel! So you're the idiot of all idiots? No! That means I'm the Axel you guys already know! Didn't the Warden Axel die? Yes! Dasko definitely killed him! Yeah, he died pretty easily. You guys thought I did because your eyes are full of crap! You all fell prey to my glorious Axel special skill number 48! Oh, Kabuki death! Kabuki death? Basically, he's trying to say that he was simply playing dead. However, it sure did look like he completely vaporized. <laughs> the Corruptor Men was so impressed with my special skill that they scouted me. Scouted you? For what? Young Master, it was for their plan to fill the Netherworld with demons as intelligent as me, of course. Poppycock! What do you think will happen to the Netherworld if it's filled with a bunch of idiots? It would be an Axel World! Oh, hey! Axel World! <laughs> Now that's music to my ears. Soon this place will be dyed in my colors. Then I'll finally... Now that you mention it, that's starting to sound pretty nice to me too. No, you're becoming delusional. Please get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Just give into it already. The A virus is invincible. So, there's no cure? Hell if I know, they didn't tell me anything. And if the original me doesn't know, then I'm pretty sure a cure doesn't exist. Well, that simply means you don't know. It doesn't necessarily mean one doesn't exist. Producing such an idiotic person? How could the Corruptor Men do something like this? Is this what Father really wants? As Valvatore said, we can't allow ourselves to turn into Axles right now. I have to find out what my father's true intentions are. It doesn't matter what you try to do now. You can't escape your destiny of turning into me. If you really want to keep resisting, fine. Have fun playing with my slaves. Your back is wide open. I shall re-educate you! Here I come! Thank you 
lose. I'll do my best. Where's the original Axel? Damn, seems he ran away. As expected of the original, he's quick to flight. But even if we do capture him, if he doesn't know the cure, then... you know? There's no need to worry. In cases like these, if we defeat the original, the effects of the virus should also disappear. There's no medical proof to support that theory, but we have no choice but to believe our Lord's logic for now. It's a pointless struggle. Just give up and soak in the axleness. No! Please hang in there! <laughs> Desco is sorry, but Desco is reaching her That's Blatherskite! Resist it, Desco! Stamina is the most important stat for a final boss to develop! I'm starting to fade, too. I'm losing consciousness in my dream to go relax in another dream. What? You too? Ooh, I think my chest here is growing an even thicker! <laughs> well, that should be all right. No, it's not! These are all symptoms of the virus! We cannot keep letting them suffer! You... Then why don't you cure them? Or are you saying that you won't cure the ones who can't pay? Come on, Fenric. She seems really worried about us demons, even though she's an angel. I have an idea of what Mr. Werewolf thinks of me. But my heart isn't cold enough to neglect the suffering souls in front of me, even if I'm in the middle of a mission. <laughs> and how longer will you be able to keep up that holier-than-thou attitude? You'll turn into me sooner or later, too. Et tu, Fenric. Et tu. Pardon me, Lord Val. It looks like I lost my spirit and fortitude for just a moment. I will be more cautious from now on. Please, forgive me. My lord, you must be careful as well. I couldn't bear to lay eyes on my master if he were to turn into... Axel. Do not worry, Fenric. I'm your master, Valvatoris. And I promise you this. I will find a cure, no matter what. Believe in me! And the power of sardines! Sardines or not, I have absolute faith in Lord Val at all times. All is for my lord. Let me 
show you! Sardine power.
Excitement? I'm just embarrassed, period. Damn it! I am a lady! Why would I want to become an idiot like you? Desco doesn't want to be an idiot! Desco wants to become a final boss! And then... Stop calling me an idiot! Can't you feel my reason, intelligence, nobility surging into your bodies? You understand, right, young master? Following the corrupt man's orders and turning into me is the most righteous thing you can do! Sorry, but I want to become a great demon! Ah, you too? Hey, wait a minute. Are you saying that I'm not a great demon? Shh, whatever. No matter how much you resist, there's no turning back once you've contracted my virus. You have no choice but to be me! You! Don't you feel the guilt of your sin? Don't you feel anything seeing all of these people suffering? Well, it's not like I don't feel bad or anything. But evil is justified in its own evil way. It's not up to us to decide whether this is really evil or not. Hey, there's no point in trying to talk sense into that idiot. Let's go. This very close to transforming. Don't give up. 
I don't remember allowing anyone who would give up before the battle to join my party. Keep fighting till the end. I'll make you a promise right now. Even if you all turn into Axel, I will find a way to turn you guys back to your original forms. So, so don't give up until the end. longer can you keep it up? Just turn into me so you can relax already. My turn will last forever in this nether world. <laughs> Get it? Turn? <laughs> I'll teach you a lesson. Here I come! Here I come! Here I come! Go to Hades! Huh.
<sighs> Don't even think this is over. As long as the A-virus exists, the second, third, and even fourth me will keep coming back. <sighs> Good! That idiot has been defeated. How's everyone doing? Desko's body feels hot! Mine too! I can't do this anymore! No! Nothing has changed even after the original has fallen! This means... If only our Lord's logic was correct! A terrible misfortune! Damn it! Get a hold of yourselves! Where's your spirit? Toughen up! Don't you have a mission to accomplish? My... mission? My... I'm... I'm... Look at you guys! Damn it! Hey, you! We didn't get better even after we defeated the original Axel! You turned me into this! How are you gonna take responsibility for this nightmare? Your consciousness is still present. You're mentally tough. I don't want you to be impressed. If I have to look like this, I wish I would have lost my consciousness too. Ugh. Even if I confessed my love to a boy under a legendary tree, my love would never come true. Desko. Desko doesn't care about anything anymore. Who cares about being a final boss? Uh, my leg and chest hair are perfect now. Lord Val, please don't look at me. Please consider your loyal servant, Fenric, to be dead. My only wish is that my master, Lord Valvatoris, will not succumb to this infectious disease. Do not give up, Fenric. I will find a cure! How? You're gonna transform sooner or later too, you know? Then there won't be anything you can do about it! I'm not going to give up! I made a promise! To find a cure, no matter what! Oh, forget it. We're all gonna be idiots. It's fine. I forgive you. It's not like this was your fault. Shut up! I'm not giving up! I won't give up yet! I promised you that I'd take you to meet the President! I promised Desko to train her until she becomes a final boss! I preached to Rascal about how important it is to keep your promises! Am I going to break a promise now? Am I? Well... Am I going to helplessly break those promises again, just like that one time? <sighs> I have no choice. Huh? What are you doing? Shh. Can you please just keep it down? Please. Drink this blood. Huh? This blood? But... Just do it! What's going on? My body is... Do that with just your blood. The blood of angels possesses the power to purify any impurities. I should have contracted the virus long ago, but I wasn't showing any symptoms, so I gave it a shot. Looks like my theory was right on target. My blood will counteract the A virus. My name 
name is Volcanus. I thought I told you that. Okay, fine, Volcanus. Can you please share your blood with my little sis? Uh, I mean, Desco and the rest of our party? No! What are you gonna do to me? I feel better than ever! Shut up! Did you forget my rule? You vowed absolute loyalty to me! Disobey me! There now. Please go right ahead, Doctor. <laughs> no problem. Are you? <laughs> I wonder. What about you, Mr. Werewolf? You would never accept my help, would you? So this is your payback. <laughs> I'm just joking. Here, please drink it. Won't show you any gratitude. I wasn't expecting you to, so it doesn't matter. No, thank you. I'm fine. Why not? You're going to transform soon. <clears throat> I'm not scared of any viruses. I'll force it out of my body with my spirit, fortitude, and the power of sardines! Scared of drinking my blood? That you'll break your promise? What do you know about that promise? Oh, well, that's too bad. I wish you luck with your spirit and fortitude, Mr. Vampire. Uh, wait! You knew your blood was the cure to the virus long before you stepped up. Didn't you come out with it earlier? Angels are forbidden from wounding their own bodies by Celestian law. So you broke the law. Why would you do that? Was it so that our Lord wouldn't have to break his promise? Are you, in fact... I did it all for the money, of course. Please don't misinterpret my motives. All the blood I gave you guys will, of course, come with a price tag. My blood is quite expensive, you know. Can you afford 880,141 hell multiplied by the number of people here? That's so freaking expensive! <laughs> of course. And that's with a generous discount. You don't have that kind of money right now, so I'll just have to tag along with you until you can afford it. You guys better rest here for a bit. I'm gonna go make some money. I should be able to make a ton from all the infected people in this world. But 
what she says, but... Desko can tell. That lady is actually a good person. She even broke the law to save us. Shame. However, we have to accept the fact that she saved us from that crisis. Yes, my lord. Regrettably, it is what it is. I shall take my frustrations out during the next battle. The next battle, huh? Has the time finally come? To battle the Netherworld President? I'm counting on you, Fenric! Understood. All is for my lord. After exterminating the mass-produced axles, we head for the Netherworld's Mother Temple, the executive office of the President! Ooh! Finally a normal preview? The President is basically the head of the Netherworld. Ever hear, better to be the head of a sardine than the tail of a sea bream? Huh? We're gonna talk about sardines after all. It's an idiom that means it's better to be the leader of a small group than to be a peon of a much more powerful group. That's correct. But herein lies a huge mistake. There are over 200 kinds of fish in the world with the name Thai. But only 100 of them are considered to make up the family. Compared to that, there are 300 kinds of sardines in the world. It's an overwhelming victory for sardines. In other words, we shouldn't be using sardines to symbolize the smaller group. You should now think of sardines as the bigger, more powerful and awesome group. As expected of my lord, not only the history of the netherworld, but you've now changed the meaning of an idiom as well. Next time, final episode, aim for the head, the final runoff for netherworld president. Rebellion kick! I'm gonna be the president! 